Once you log into your Minecraft Education Edition account and you go to create some worlds, there may be some settings in those worlds that will better reflect um, the goals and use within your classroom. So when I click on play as the educator and I go into um, view my worlds, I will talk about in a different video, um, just that creation of worlds, but you can see some options right here, such as create, create new. So in view my worlds, there's two options that I have right now. One is a new world and one is uh, one that I've looked at before. If I um, click on that, um, you can see that there's play, host and settings, which we'll look over. And in the settings is where I'll get, it will reflect what I'm about to show you when we go to create a new world. Um, my experience is that once you create um, uh, and look at these settings, that they will kind of default apply to any world that you create, except if you use a template, it'll probably pull those um, settings that the person who created the world would be. So you can see that um, in here, uh, there's the world name, uh, this is a big one for us, uh, and we'll look in when you're creating a world, and then uh, with which is the uh, creative mode, and then the difficulty. So lots of other things that I'll go back uh, to creating a new world as if you were from scratch. So I'm going to go to new world, and then I'm going to click on new. This is where you will also access for via templates, and we'll show that in a different um, OCSP how-to. When I click on this, you can see that uh, you would name your world up here. But for this uh, video, I'm focusing on these type of uh, settings. This one did not uh, carry over specifically. So when you're setting it up, um, as we learn the tool, this would be helpful. So in here, um, creative is good um, because it just allows the, the students uh, to play around. And then you can see the difficulty is peaceful, easy, normal, hard, uh, peaceful is there, again, depending what it is. And then um, the students need to be a member. Um, so that one I would just leave uh, typically there. And here, uh, is it infinite? Is it flat? Different things that we're all getting to learn with the tool. And then everything is going to be starting to look at preferential based on you and your students. But one thing that I did find um, helpful is uh, show coordinates. And uh, show coordinates was just that X and Y axis where people are located on there. And it's very helpful, not just for finding people, but also to uh, connect to any uh, curriculum that you're trying to look at. Immediate respawn is if they um, if they do uh, die within the game, but because we're in creative and we don't have those mobs and people coming up there, that would be uh, that piece. And then you can, as you go through activity cheats, code builder, those type of things. Um, and then the tick speed, I, I've been recommended for my own kids at, at one being there, but again, um, your, your students. And then these uh, six chunks, sometimes I heard go up to nine or something like that, but these are all things we're, we're learning uh, together. So biggest thing is that if we're coming in here, creative is great. Um, the difficulty at peaceful or easy because of that. And then uh, that takes away that sort of ability for um, different ones to look at and um, and definitely not the ability to kind of die. Always day is great in terms of that option so that uh, it doesn't go into night, but it could, that's totally up to you again. And then uh, show classroom settings, different items in here. This is where we get always perfect weather. Allow mobs. Mobs are just people um, that might be villagers, um, but you can also see um, player versus player damage might be something um, that you might want to take off. Player damage, you could probably take off. Uh, allow destructive items. So that might be fire or different things like that that you might put off. And then just different border effects um, around um, uh, when, when they're building. So these are just items in here under the different tools that we have for adjusting your world and game uh, settings.